Hello everybody and welcome back to the SRL F1 2014 Season 2 Championship. We're here in Bahrain for Round 6 of the Championship. And uh, joining me here in the commentary box is Sandro Dulis. Yeah, so the Bahrain circuit, 15 turns, 5.4 kilometers. Uh, it has some slow and technical parts, also has some fast and flowing parts. Uh, I personally like the track. What about you, Sandro? Yeah, I really like the track. It's um, a bit trickier like the second sector with this hard uh, braking zone for the stumble right hander. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, many drivers like this track. Yeah, me too. It's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, circuit, and I think it will. Um, throw up some interesting races as well, uh, like today for the race. So in season one, uh, Sandro Dulles managed to take out the win. So um, yeah, we'll see how it's going to pan out for this race. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's see how the boys did in qualifying. So here we can see the qualifying results then, so uh, Francis McKinn managed to take pole position with Sandro Dulles only half a second behind in 2nd place, Pedro Mesquita in 3rd, Alex Valenciati in 4th, Dion Stahl in 5th, Andrew Hepp in 6th and Yannick Verpeden in 7th. Nick van Gelder unfortunately disconnecting from the qualifying session, so um, yeah that is pretty unfortunate but he does have the, um, the free tyre choice as to whether he wants to start on primes or option tyres, so that's going to be interesting how that pans out. Yes, definitely, and I think Nick van Gelder has definitely got the pace to um, get to the front of the field. He will uh, probably fight for a podium position. Alright, so here we are for the race then. We can see Francis McGinn starting for pole position and Nick van Gelder starting in 8th place. So, um, yeah, we are waiting for the 5 lights now. And uh, it looks like... Nick van Gelder is putting his engine down into lean mix, now he keeps it in standard, but uh, five lights are going on now, and as they're out, we are away, and away we go now for round six, lost connection to Dion Stahl already. Dion Stahl already. That is very unfortunate for Dion Stahl there, but so uh, ranging into turn one now, we have uh, Yannick Verpeden on the left hand side of Nick van Gelder, and oh they touch, oh, they touch a little bit there, and uh, Nick van Gelder almost lost it, uh, Yannick Verpeden has a poor exit there out of turn two, and then uh, Nick van Gelder takes P6. McLaren dropped down the order. Yes, so here we are on board now. It's Alex. Alex dropped down the order a bit. I think he had contact with Sandra. Oh, contact with Andrew now. Ooh. Oh dear. That's not a good first sector for uh, Alex van Jackie. No, that was very dangerous. He was lucky there to um, don't spin out. As we see, Alex Benchetti now going up the inside of Andrew Hef. Here we are on board with him again as he puts his brake bias down into the rear uh, bias. As we now break down for turn 7, we have Sandro Dulis in front of him. So um, Alex Benchetti now up into P4 and Nick van Gelder up into P5. And he is actually starting on the prime tires. Now on board with Sandro Dulis going through uh, turn 10. Looks to have been pretty well so far. Sandro Dulis in third position, chasing down Pedro Mesquita. Yeah, I think he will try to make a move down the first corner. Use a slipstream. Alright, we have a little replay here of I think what's going to be the start. Yes, on board with Sandro Dulis. So he's following the poor man Francis McKinn into turn one as he dives up the inside. Oh, they got to touch. Oh, they touch a little bit there. But uh, Sandro Dulis actually led Francis uh, back through. So that is very uh, fair driving by the Greek driver. Yeah, made a little mistake, but um, yeah, regained the position. But now actually he also lost the position to uh, Pedro Mesquita, and he tried to get it back there on the inside of turn four, but wasn't able to in the end. And over here we can see Sandro Dulis trying to make a move on Pedro, but I think he failed. Yeah, he did. So um, now left life back into the action again uh, on the start of lap two. We're on board with Nick van Gelder now uh, in oh, P5 side still. Side by side. Yeah. I think Alex is going to join the battle as well. Nice three way battle here through this masses. And now Deep Van Hella joined the joined the party. Really cool, really cool right there. And our panel went wide there, Sandra tries to make the switch back move around the outside in the double left hand on there. Sandra Dune is around the outside. Can he go? Yes, he got the traction and he's through. Nice move there for Sandra Dune, so it's not a third position. 
Yeah, now Nick van Gelder as well going past Alex Benacetti. He got a very good exit out of uh, the slow happening corner. And now Nick van Gelder runs a bit wide and Alex Benacetti is having a look up the inside and he's passed again. But uh, Nick van Gelder goes up into race mix and Alex runs a bit wide. So now Nick van Gelder is up into fourth position uh, just behind Pedro Mesquida. Yeah, this is a very nice battle here on the start of lap 3 for this Bahrain Gr uh, Grand Prix. Nick van Gelder still in the slipstream of Pedro Mesquita as he puts his uh, engine back down into standard mix. He dives up the inside there, just about uh, able to still make the corner. And uh, as Francis McKinn sets the fastest lap of the race in the lead uh, of the race. And now Nick van Gelder is just behind Sandro Dulis. Right, let's look at the little replay here. We... Uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, it looked like oh, there was contact bet between uh, Sandra and Alex there. But still, very, very lucky for Alex to um, keep it on the track there. Sandra Dulis and Pedro Mesquita still going side by side now as they as they break down for the hairpin corner. Yes, they will. So there we can see Nick van Gelder overtaking Alex, but then uh, Nick van Gelder ran a bit wide and Alex position took the position back uh, briefly, but then he ran wide, uh, trying to leave a bit too much space there, and uh, he is now back into fifth. Oh, he hit the ball out there. That's why I saw this on the timing table. Yeah, that's right. So uh, Alex Benacetti now falling down back into sixth position. Oh, they almost touch um, going through the final corner. Now Alex is going to try to get in the slipstream of Andrew Hef. And he overtakes him now on the start of lap three. And DRS will be enabled on this lap. So um, that's going to be interesting for sure. He was trying to go up the inside there through the quick left right chicane but he just backed out of it and that was a very wise decision but uh, now Sandro Dulis goes a bit wide but now he still has better traction out of the corner. Yes, and Nick van Gelder now drew up into second place after starting uh, from eighth place. So, um, and he's still on the prime tire. So, um, Francis is a long way up the road. However, he is on the option tire. So, um, yeah, if Nick van Gelder can uh, maintain a good pace in the second stint, he may fight for the victory again. But uh, we don't know yet. Yeah, he's driving a great pace here in Bahrain. His lead is now over 5 seconds. So, um, yeah, very good driving here by Francis McGinn. As we go into turn 1 now, you can see behind it, that's almost uh, 3 wide into turn 1. So, uh, that looked very dangerous as Alex Benicetti sets the fastest time of the race. So, let's look at the little replay. Yeah, breaking down into the hap. And now I think this is a replay of the battle between uh, Sandro Dulis and Nick van Gelder. And uh, Pedro Mesquita may have been uh, involved in this as well. As uh, we can see Sandro Dulis there going a little bit wide. And uh, that allows Nick van Gelder alongside him now. As uh, Nick van Gelder took the position. Alex Benacetti had the arrest of Pedro Mesquita. As Pedro actually looks up the inside of Sandro Dulis. But Alex Benacetti breaks very late. Tries to hang it around the outside of Pedro Mesquita. Will he be able to make it stick? It turns for the inside for this corner and Alex Benicetti now up into fourth place going purple through the second sector uh, as well. Now in the slipstream of Sandro Dulis and he's going up the inside 
uh, as we come up to the final corner. Will he be able to break later into the final corner? Sandra Dudis tries to hang it around the outside, but Alex Benacetti now maintains P3. Yeah, now Alex Benacetti has a poor exit, so will that allow well, uh, Pedro Mesquita alongside him? It doesn't look like it, no. So Alex Benacetti uh, maintains fourth position. Now, now on board with Sandro Dulis. This is still a replay, so this isn't uh, live action yet. Uh, we can see uh, Alex Benacetti there going up the inside. And uh, here we can see it from Alex Benacetti on board as well. So Alex Benacetti now up into P3 and Sandro Dulis down into P4. Yeah, and we also saw the, uh, Alex Benincetti running wide uh, through the hairpin and Pedro Mesquita took the position uh, back briefly but now Alex Benincetti has taken uh, P3 back again. So Alex Benincetti now back up into P3 with Nick van Gelder trying to pull away in P2. Now, yeah, the curbs around its track are certainly very dangerous and sometimes uh, it can throw you out and spin you out or something. So that's definitely something uh, to look out for in this race as we open up lap seven of lap six, sorry, of the race now. And uh, we can see Alex Benacetti actually closing down on Nick van Gelder into turn one. So uh, both of these drivers started on the prime tire. So, um, yeah, they both will have a benefit over the rest of the field uh, once they put on their option tires. Yeah, a little bit of a track extend there. Yeah. As we look at the replay now, this is the start from Alex Benacetti. So um, the action in the race has died down a little bit. So let's look what happened in Alex Benacetti's on board. So coming into turn one now. Ooh. Yeah, it was almost the same as what happened between uh, Yannick Verpeten and Nick van Gelder in the first corner. And here, yeah, we already saw that in the live timing of work, of course. So, um, yeah, Andrew Raheff and Alex Benicetti having a little bit of contact there. As Alex Benicetti now goes up the inside, we already saw this from uh, Nick van Gelder's point of view, but we didn't, we haven't seen this yet uh, from Alex's point of view. So, um, and here we can see this is this is still lap one. We can see Nick van Gelder going up the inside there of uh, Andrew Raheff for P5. Second place behind um, Nick van Gelder because Francis McGinn 
was uh, in the pits. Yes, yeah, so the bo both of the prime guys are now lead leading race. Actually, the entire top three is now on prime tires, but uh, it's the end of lap seven now. And actually, Alex Benicetti goes in for the undercut. Interesting move. He tries the undercut against Nifan Gelda and his teammate. Yeah. Yeah, and Nick van Gelder needs a good end lap now because he needs to push because if he doesn't, he probably lose uh, the position to Alex. Yes, so this is now the deciding part. Of Ooh, bit of a corner got there. <laughs> probably uh, trying to push a bit too hard, but uh, luckily got away with it. Bit of overset there on the exit, but uh, yeah, Alex Benicetti going for the Annika. That is a very uh, wise move from him because he is now on the softer and fresher tyres. Yeah, and actually Nick van Gelder still stays out there on lap 7, so as we open up lap 8, this is now his scheduled stop. So, um, yeah, Nick van Gelder staying out longer compared to the rest of the field, as we now see Sandro Dulis on board again. And uh, he is now already on the prime tyres, so, um, yeah, he's now currently opening up lap 8 of this race. Yeah, it is. It's going to be interesting to see how this pans out and who's going to uh, come out of the pits in front. So, um, well, probably Francis will be still leading, but who is going to be second as uh, Nick van Gelder makes his pit stop? And uh, also, in this in this phase of the race, Francis will be on primes and Alex and Nick van Gelder will be on fresher and softer tyres. So, Nick van Gelder will be on the freshest tyres of everyone in the field. So that's going to be very interesting indeed. Now on board with Sandra Dulis again, uh, briefly as we can see uh, Nick van Gelder now coming through turn 10. And a bit of OC there on the exit, really trying to push very hard on his in lap here because he really needs to. But uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting for sure. Yeah, Nick van Gelder into the pits on lap 9 or 14 of the Bahrain Grand Prix. He will be going onto a set of option tyres now as he has a, a nice 3.7 second pit. So, but where's Alex? He is now currently in second position. So Francis has already jumped in. But where's Alex coming down the home straight now? There he is on the outside. Who's going to come out in front of him? It looks like Alex is out. Oh, this is going to be close. But Alex just about goes uh, in in front of him. Yeah, but also a great uh, outlap from Alex Benicetti because um, he certainly drove very well to get out in front of Nick van Gelder. But uh, Nick van Gelder now has the fresher tyres though. Yeah, that's a really tricky corner. It's a really tricky corner. It's Yeah, you really have to trail brake it in there. It's uh, indeed very easy to lock up uh, your brakes, even on F1 2014. Oh, what is happening? His screen is freezed. Oh, Nick van Gelder has disconnected from the race. That is really unfortunate. Yeah, he disconnected. That is really unfortunate. For the second time in a row, he, al he um, already disconnected from qualifying and now his screen has frozen and he disconnected f uh, from the session. You can see the confirmation uh, on, the, on the bottom of your screen. So um, Nick van Gelder is truly out of, the, uh, out of this race now 
and uh, that is really unfortunate because he looked uh, good to take a good result there in this uh, sixth race of the championship but now it is between Alex and Francis and maybe even Pedro oh he locks up into the heaven oh Alex is spun round that is very unlucky for Alex and now Pedro Mesquita takes P2 like I said this corner is really really tricky he went wide and I think he just accelerated a bit too early and like not enough traction and then spun out. He didn't lose that much time, but of course the main um, happening is right now with Nick Farrell disconnected. It's really, really unfortunate for the Haskar. It's only his second race and he was doing so well to start from last position as fighting for second place. Yeah, so uh, now let's look at the replay. So um, we can see the battle between Sandro Dulis and Pedro Mesquita here as we come down into turn one. Who's going to be the last of the late breaks? It looks like it's Sandro, but no, Pedro Mesquita holds it around the outside there. And Pedro Mesquita maintains speed two for the taking, but Sandro Dulis now tries to get it back uh, up the inside as we come up to turn four. Is he going to make it stick? Is he going to break later? Yes, he does. That was a very uh, late move by Sandro, and he actually pulls over and lets. Uh, Pedro Mesquita back through there. So again, just like on the four first lap, very uh, fair driving there from Sandro Dulis. Yes, um, I think he um, broke too late again, like on uh, turn one. He still has to get used to his um, new wheel uh, with the braking because he has to uh, set the braking points like completely different to the pad. And yeah. now we can see. Um, between them again on the back straight. Yeah, still going side by side. Pedro has his front wing uh, just alongside the rear tires of Sandro Dulis, but it looks like Sandro Dulis now maintains P2 uh, for the taking. And uh, now we're on lap 13 or 14. Sandro Dulis now into uh, P4 actually, as uh, he goes a bit wide now through turn 4, and that is going to allow Andrew Hef now up the inside. And it looks like he has taken a position, so Sandro Dulis is, is now back into P5 on the penultimate lap of this race. And he tries to go down the inside there. Really, really cheeky move there from the Greek boy, and he made it stick. It's a bit like Russia again. Uh, Sandro and Andrew fighting for fourth position. Yeah, in uh, Russia it didn't really work out that Sandro Dulis actually spun out of that race if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, Sandro Dulis now up to fourth position. Very good move he made that very late but still managed uh, to make it stick. As um, Yeah, actually before Alex Benacetti spun out he looked very uh, likely to um, challenge Francis for the win but now he has just lost too, uh, too much time. And uh, Pedro Mesquita is now pulled away by almost seven seconds. Really, really good pace from the Mercedes car. And oh, now Andrew looked down the inside, and I think he like ne he nearly spun. Um, he hit the sideboard from Sandro Julius. Yeah, and this is actually already the final lap. So Francis McKinn has won this race, as you see Alex Benetton coming coming home in third. And this is now the battle for fourth position. It looks like Andrew have has fallen back a bit too far to make a move into the final turn so it looks like uh, Sandro Dulis will maintain P4 here for this uh, Bahrain Grand Prix Yes, he's too far back to get to fourth position Congratulations to Francis McGinn and Mercedes of course Yeah, so after this really eventful uh, Bahrain Grand Prix, here we can see the race results up on screen. So Francis McKinn managed to take out the win with uh, Pedro Mesquita uh, in second place. As um, Alex Benacetti took third place there, Sandro Dulis in fourth, Andrew Hef in fifth place, Yannick Verpeden in sixth, and Nick van Gelder and Dion Stahl, both the Dutchmen disconnecting from the session. Yeah, and in the constructors we can see McLaren with 207 points uh, on the top of the table with Ferrari in second place and Mercedes in third. So um, yeah, it's looking to be a very um, competitive championship so far this season. So that has been it for this race, round six of the SRL F1 2014 season two championship. The next round will be in Germany uh, at the Hockenheim Ring. So. Um, yeah, that's also a very uh, interesting circuit. Yes, it will be. Um, we are lo I'm looking forward for this race. And you, what about you? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm also I'm really looking forward to that race and uh, it should be a great one, just like here uh, in Bahrain. So um, yeah, that's been it for this race. I've been Nick van Gelder and Sander Dulis, thank you very much for commentating with me. Goodbye. Goodbye. So join us next week for the Hockenheim Ring Grand Prix.